I was fortunate. I came up in a moment in, in time in history and where, where things were changing so rapidly. My mother was born in the Deep South. My mother, uh, part of my moral underpinning as a child, my mother said, I'm eternally grateful for my mother and father, my grandparents, because I didn't pick cotton in September. I went to school in September. The shoes may have been too small. The distance I had to walk was a long distance. The dress that I wore, people, kids, other kids laughed at me, but I went to school in September. Went to school and consequently, consequently, she was the first to graduate from college in her community in 1942. That's huge. That's a huge paradigm shift. She's able to think. She's able to think outside of the relationship that perhaps her, her mother and father had with society, but her mother and father used whatever tools they had. My grandfather was born in 1892, my grandmother 1895. So they used the tools they had. My, my, my grandmother became one of the greatest midwives in that community, in that county, Jefferson County in Georgia. So those are all the kind of things. But they were kind of like, they never went past the third or fourth grade. But her, 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 her organic intellect, whew, off the chart, off the chart. And so what they realized, I said, okay, I got three children here. The world is changing. It ain't going to be the same world. They ain't going to function in the same world I function in. Let me make the sacrifices necessary for them to go to school. So all three of the children went to college. And all that. And all that, you, you think about that. So they, they had not only their vision, they have visionaries. With third grade education with visionary, with vision. The vision said the world is changing, you know, and the cutting end of seeing something my children are going to be right there at the center of that. That's what education is.